I could be wrong here, but you're the first chefs to cook on coals in Sydney, like now and throughout Australia, like everyone's yeah. cooking on coals. I think we were the first and to we do a massive fire in the middle yeah, of the Yeah, yeah, I remember going there, I was like, look, look at this. And I remember your, uh, well, I learned it was your old man just like yeah, stowing the coals yeah, yeah. and like, it's like there's a lamb and a pig. I was like, this is amazing. Just in, in terms of working with, like for you, it's like family and partners and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you navigate that in such a like positive way? We just got all our family in it, yeah. you know, just to help out at the beginning. At Bodega, my dad used to be the kitchen hand there for the first year. Right. Yeah, so it was like myself, Ben, and my dad used to do the dishes and like, yeah. help out. And, uh, and then when we opened Portenio, um, it was the same. We just got everyone involved. The restaurants are us. We do everything ourselves. So, yeah, right. Yeah, so everything, I guess it's an uh, extension of, uh, of, our, of ourselves you know, our yeah. personality. So when you come to a, one of our venues, it's like you coming into our house. Yeah. Because there's obviously, obviously got a you know, deep understanding about, you know, say, cooking whole animals. I mean, back then that was, you know, we're all trying to do it now, but back then you, you guys had that nail. I mean, that's, right. you know, what, what, how did that? Oh, just practice, like, at home. Like, my dad would do barbecues on the weekends and, you know, in Argentina they always use, like, different cuts. They'd use, like, you know, a side of ribs or, you know, a whole pig or a whole lamb or, not yeah. really doing like steaks on the barbecue. What sort of tips would you give to, to, to the home cook? What are sort of key um, sort of any like techniques or pointers just to kind of you know maximize flavor? We always keep it simple. So yeah. we only ever use salt on the meat. Yeah. We never put marinades, we never use any of that, uh, yeah. anything else. Uh, we always temper the meat. Yeah. And we always get the coals on early, the fire on early, so yeah. it's not so fierce. There's always people uh, about like resting the meat and stuff like that. We do at the restaurant at home, we don't. We always like to eat it like yeah. hot. Yeah. <laughs> So like the fat's all like juicy, yeah, yeah. And, like you know, it all spills all over the plate and stuff like that. So anyway, so in, with regards to like getting your meat fix, there's a bit of beef going down here. So, yeah. so chat to us about this. It's called the French dip, and I had it the first time I had it was um, in the States years ago in LA and in Vegas. It's just basically a, a beef sandwich consists of uh, roast beef sliced thinly. We add onions and cheese. I don't think it has to have that. I think it's just meat. Yeah. in bread. The thing about it is you dip it in the roasting juices. Yeah. You dip it or some restaurants actually dip the whole sandwich in it for you. Well, I'm going to take this idea. I'm going to do my own sort of steak beef troncher using skirt steak. Yeah. I'm going to use uh, the Massel beef stock with some, some pan juices uh, to make a, a like, sort of punchy little glaze with some Worcestershire sauce and pickles. Yeah. So, uh, mate, thanks so much for that. That's, that, looks, that looks epic. We've got, we've got to do this.